Hello, it's Laura Davalo, and I'm back with another interactive card tutorial that I hope you'll enjoy. This one features a mechanism made with circle dies and a couple of cute, realistic looking paint brushes. And as you can see, when we pull on one of the strings, they actually paint. To create this new mechanism, we will need three circles. The largest has a diameter of three and a half inches, the second one two inches and the smallest one. Off camera I cut two circles out of orange zest cardstock and two out of white cardstock. These will be used as templates. I already punched a hole in the middle of each one with the help of these thin paper versions. Now we can link two of them with a brad and trace around the smaller one with a pencil. Let's repeat that with the one inch circle. I hope you can see what I'm doing. The orange might be too distracting, especially for the next step. Okay, let's grab a ruler and trace a line down the middle of the orange circle. Now I'm going to use the grid as a reference to draw another line diagonally. My grid is in centimeters, so one square equals three eighths of an inches. It doesn't have to be super exact. Next, I'm going to draw a tangent to that middle circle from the right middle up and then from the left middle down. You'll see a close up of the piece really soon if you want to do a screenshot of it. Let me just erase some of these lines for you. Now we just need to cut this piece out and use it as a template to trace onto the other orange circle. We need it to be a little bit sturdy. I know that most people don't enjoy fussy cutting as much as I do. This is an easy shape, but you need to be careful not to cut too much in those sharp corners. Okay, I promise this is the last time that we need to trace something for this card. After erasing all of the lines, we can use liquid glue to stack the pieces. And afterwards, you might need to trim some parts like I had to. If you want to add a little bit of texture to the paint strokes, just swipe across them with the matching ink. The paint brushes are from the in the toolbox at One Dynamics. Here are all of the pieces that I used for each brush, and this is what it looks like after assembling, shading, and glossy accents. Isn't that cute? For this card, I used a slightly larger than an A2 card base to nicely frame my panel of blue beyond cardstock with ink splatters. Never mind that mechanism piece, in my first version I covered it with clear embossing and it wouldn't slide nicely so I redid it. But I wanted to include this footage where I show all of the card elements, like the little banner with a sentiment from the Crafty Caddy greetings. I lost my most used stamps from the interactive label set, so I used this cool Christmas greeting set to partially stamp the word pull on two one inch circles. We will also need about 16 inches of string, preferably the type that doesn't unravel easily. Here I'm placing the main elements of my panel to see where I need to punch a hole for the brad. The paint brushes will overlap almost an inch of the edges of the strokes, so this will be perfect. After temporarily linking the circle or volvel mechanism to the front of my panel with a brad, I'm going to use a ruler and a pencil to mark the position of the two slits. I should have used a white pen so that you can see it on camera, but I was afraid it would stain my panel. Next, I used a sharp craft knife to cut two one inch long slits. It's easier to start with the horizontal ends of the slit so that the blade won't slide too far when you're cutting vertically, or in this case, diagonally. I like to apply a small amount of pressure and do several passes. Here I'm testing to see if I did a good job. I'm also figuring out where to punch the holes for the string. You could totally skip this step and just stamp the word pull on one of the brushes instead. It would still be a fun and surprising card. The reason I'm punching holes for the strings is so that they won't budge if someone pulls on them too hard. 
Okay, so after punching the hole for string number one, I just pulled it through from the front and attached it to the back with score tape. I put a strip both under and over the string and then I covered it with clear tape. I repeated these steps with string number two. After attaching the mechanism to the panel for the last time, we can now add pieces of foam tape to the edges of the brush strokes. Here's where we will attach the brushes later on. These foam pieces also serve as stops so that the mechanism can't be pulled too far. I marked the two points where I'll punch holes in the panel and they are one inch and one and three quarters of an inch from the right edge and three quarters of an inch from the lower edge. After pulling the strings through to the front, we can add the little one inch circles with our prompt. I used liquid glue for this. It felt strange not to add anything to string number two, so I went through my stash and found a little blue bead, but any charm or a couple of symmetric die cut shapes would look great. Remember to pull out string number one completely before adding anything to string number two, especially if you plan on trimming it. I tried adding a couple of knots to keep the bead from moving too much, but I didn't do such a great job. Off camera, I added some foam squares to the back of the panel, and after adhering it to the card base, we can finally attach the little brushes. Do that loosely at first and check the movement to see if it looks good before pressing down firmly. I'm happy with the results, so I can now add the sentiment strip, which hopefully will fit on the lower edge. Yeah, I think it'll look good there. The only thing that's missing is the heart from the In the Name of Love dynamic set. And here it is. I added some slivers in the corners. And that's it. Our card is finished. I can't wait to give this one to an artist friend of mine. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. As always, you'll find all of the details in the description box below. If you have any questions, just leave a comment here or on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Hasta la próxima.